Hey guys, Nick here again, back with another episode. And today I'm going to be unboxing the Rode Video Micro. For those of you looking to upgrade your audio game when it comes to either vlogging or just general filmmaking. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the Rode Micro is a compact, high-quality cardioid condenser mic. And because it's non-omnidirectional, it reduces peripheral sounds and focuses instead on the audio directly in front of the camera or the microphone, making it great for vloggers and other YouTubers. The mic retails for 60 bucks and is the cheapest of Rode's line of professional microphones. Getting into the unboxing, you can see a quick slice up top reveals a furry mass encased in plastic. This of course is the dead cat, which will add protection from wind and other elements. Now it appears that the mic comes shipped with the windshield already attached, so I'm going to leave that as it is. My wife also is thrilled that the mic can also double as a duster around the house. Continuing with the unboxing, you can see that the unit also ships with a camera shoe shock mount and a very Beats looking 3.5mm audio cable. Rounding out the unboxing, you'll find my favorite snack, Ezorbs, and a quick start guide. The fact that Rode included all of these peripherals was definitely a deciding factor for me when it came to shelling out my hard-earned cash. After struggling a bit with the shock mount, I was eventually able to clip this onto the mic. Only thing left to do now is to plug in the 3.5mm audio cable into the mic and also into your camera slot. Another selling point for me was that this unit is powered directly from your camera, so there's no need to carry around extra batteries when traveling or needing to recharge the unit when recording. After sliding the mic onto the camera's hot shoe, we are ready to go. Because the mic is so compact, even with the windshield attached, it doesn't really add much if any additional weight to your video setup, and can easily still be tossed into your gear bag with the mic attached. So with its small footprint and aesthetics aside, a microphone's really all about audio quality, isn't it? So let's test it out. We're going to be comparing the Nikon D3200's built-in microphone with the Rode Video Micro. Let's see if we can hear a difference. So what you're listening to now is the Rode microphone plugged directly into my Nikon D3200. I'm standing about four feet away from the camera, and hopefully you'll be able to tell that the Rode microphone sounds a lot crispier and also a lot louder than the built-in microphone on the Nikon. But is the difference in audio $60 worth? So this is the Nikon's built-in mic. I'm standing in the exact same spot, about four feet away from the camera. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below if the Rode mic is your go-to. Now switching back again to the Rode Micro. So now's a good time to pop on the high quality headphones and see if the Rode microphone is really worth the $60 investment in terms of quality. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below if you have the Rode Micro. So you just heard the untreated audio from the Rode Micro. Now what I've done was I checked the wind levels down here in the basement and things seem to be pretty tame. So what I've done is I've removed the dead cat and now have the Rode Micro sitting directly on top of the Nikon. In addition to that, I've also used some noise reduction plugins in Final Cut Pro, which I would do in post-production normally anyway. So hopefully now we'll be hearing much better audio quality with the hiss at a minimum level. Quickly just switching back to the onboard mic one more time. So again, this is Nikon's built-in mic. Not as loud as the Rode Micro and not as bassy as well. I feel like there's a bit more character in the Rode Micro audio. What do you guys think? Final test, I just want to move a bit closer to the mic and see if the audio quality improves yet again. So what you're listening to now as a final test is the Rode Micro plugged directly into the Nikon. However, this is more of a typical vlogger style. I'm sitting just about a foot and a half away from the camera, no dead cat, and since this mic is not omnidirectional, my voice should be a lot louder and a lot clearer than previous videos. I'm also going to add some Final Cut filters and plugins right now to see if we can remove any further background noise or hiss right about now. Definitely drop a comment down below if you have any ideas on how to further reduce the background hiss or hum, as I'm sure it will help out viewers. If you enjoyed this video, or if it's your first time here, definitely consider subscribing. I think the button should be somewhere around here. And be sure to smash that like button if you found this video neat or helpful at all. That about wraps it up for me, guys. So, as always, this has been Nick from Quick Tech, and I'll see you in the next one.